What's up, YouTube? It's Torhan bringing you another episode of our uh, Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Um, currently, I've been working on a room down here, our rooms, and I want to show you guys that. But first, before that, I wanted to thank all of my new subscribers. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate you subscribing. I recently passed the 75 user mark, and I am super, super stoked. You guys are just awesome. Thank you so much. But here's the room I've been working on. As you can see, we have our nice transition into this lovely room. Um, I haven't finished removing the torches, but it took a while to, to do this. I have my uh, lovely fountain that is there. And if you fall in, you can get out at least. Help, I've fallen. There you go. Anyways, um, what I've been doing is you can see I have this going on to each entryway that's going to branch out and go somewhere and then in here I took and carved out a large room and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm going to make this my bedroom and some enchanting and stuff in here I haven't quite figured out or I'm going to split it into two rooms and do something else with it I'm not sure yet but that's kind of what I've carved out thus far and I need to pick this up first I was lazy and I worked around it because I didn't feel like clearing it out yet. Super pick for the win. I love this pick. It's crazy efficient. Of course, that's because it's efficiency on breaking. But, oh, missed one. So what I want to do, though, is finish up this room out here first. And just get your guys' thoughts on it. Um, I don't know what you guys think of this. But, um, this is what I decided to do for the little pillars in the middle of these sections here, just to kind of break them up a bit, um, to give them a little, just, you know, a little, a little something in here to kind of make it look like there's something holding the ceiling up instead of just being magically held up by something. I'm, I'm also thinking of actually, um making uh, I'm thinking of putting making it like a dome in here so it's not just all flat in one level so it kinda gives a little more depth um, that's something I'm thinking of doing I haven't decided quite yet if it's gonna happen but it's something I am thinking about so it may very well happen I just have to uh, do it so that's something I am actually looking to do is make it just give it a little more depth to this room uh, so it's not doesn't feel so all one dimensional because right now it's just you know everything's kind of one level and I want to kind of give it a little bit different feel and I still need to replace some gravel and and that too which I have not done just yet but it's on my list of things to do for now though I want to finish the floor I'm using half slabs to prevent things from spawning and then this actually uh, let's see it does come right up to that so what we're gonna do here is finish this up and let's make sure I do it right yeah it goes right to the edge of the doorway and of course there's no doorway yet because I haven't put one in but the doorway goes right there and we just need to get some cobblestone to finish to flush that out which I'll go snag here, ah wrong one oh, 
Wow. Total block place fail. And then these ones are actually supposed to be cobblestone half slabs. And then we do this on every other one. And then of course we do this. Gives it a nice look, gives it a nice feel, and it's simple yet effective. Let me know what you guys think. This is just the design I came up with for this room. Uh, I was trying to do something different, you know, give it a an interesting look and feel, but still keep it simple. Um, I didn't want to go too crazy. And so this is what I just eventually came up with. Ah, wrong one. But I wanted a way to break up this room without being too crazy with it. And this is the, you know, this is what I came up with, basically. So I was curious as to what you guys all think of it. And one, two, I wonder if I have enough to do both sides. Nope, I don't. And I'm out. And I've been having slime spawn in this room. Cobblestone. Do I have any wood? Wow, I actually don't have wood over here. And I forgot to bring a crafting chest back this way. Joy. I really do like this architecture in this room. That one was one of my favorite favorite hallways to do thus far. This is actually probably one of my favorite things to build is this giant base here. Ah, I'm out of wood all over the place. Alright you guys, I'm going to go ahead and skip forward. To, I'm going to go pick up some wood and I'll be back. Alright everybody, I got some wood. We're heading back into the chest room. I've got 32 of... Ah, I went and picked up a half a stack of each of my of my uh, oak and my spruce. Or not spruce, I think it's spruce. Yeah, oak and spruce. I picked up a half stack of each so that way I have a little bit of both in here. And let's go ahead and create those. Create those. I had to run all the way back to my other, my treehouse area because that's where I had most of my, my wood at. Give me one of those. And we'll put you right there. Thank you. So we need some more cobblestone half slabs. Just a few. And that should be all. Munch, munch, munch. Okay. Thank you. There, 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 and there. Okay, that finishes up that stuff. Oh, that's what I needed to do. Over here. I realized that I could have just replaced all of that with the cobble that I pulled out of the wall. Wasn't thinking too clear, you guys. Okay, so now we need these. Like so. And now we need these ones. Like so, but we also need to light this up. Okay, perfect. Hopefully I have enough of these suckers. I might not, which isn't a big deal. I'll just have to go... i got to really move my furnaces and stuff over to this place so I can actually cook things here instead of having to run back to the tower for everything I want. Because I have my giant furnace room in the tower where I've been cooking most of my stone. 
Oh, which reminds me, I should pick this up while I'm thinking about it. Alright. Okay. Cobblestone back on the bar. No. Bad cobblestone. God, I keep messing with that, mess, missing that click. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna have enough of these, I don't think. Um, one more. But I can just take the regular smooth stone I have in my inventory and craft it into some. All right, let's check the chest first to make sure I don't have any stone bricks. Doesn't look like it, so let's make ourselves some stone bricks. And then we'll make ourselves some half slabs. There we go. And I will be with you guys momentarily. Alright, don't know if any of you guys heard that, but my phone went off just a second ago and it was a lovely wife calling me. She's on her way home and asked me a question. And if I don't answer her phone, then I face the wrath of my wife. And that's far more intimidating than anything else. No, just kidding. She's the sweetest girl in the world. And loves me to death. Literally, if I do anything wrong, she'll kill me in my sleep. No, actually, she's, uh, she's probably one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life, and she's always super sweet to people. So I am a very, very lucky man. Okay, and we want to light this up a little too. Just so it looks better. Because we don't need to have all these torches around. Just a few. I like the torches because it gives it a castly look. But in the same regard, I do like... Um, I like glowstone and stuff. So certain rooms I use glowstone. Other rooms I'm going to use torches. But because we're using half slabs, things aren't going to spawn on these very easily. So that's kind of nice. All right, and of course we do need to take the clean up the walls a little bit. Still, we need to get rid of a couple things that are still there. More coal. See, I tend not to mine it out when I'm building because I don't feel like dealing with it, and then I remember that it's there when I'm trying to finish up things. But not too big of a deal. Okay. No. Okay, there we go. Really? I did that to myself? Perfect. And then we'll put some torches on the walls here. I hate that stupid glitch where it's there but you can't pick it up. Alright, we're almost done with this room. I wanted to give you guys an update and let you guys see kind of what I've been working on this past week or so. Okay. And voila! Toss a couple torches over here. There. I think that looks really good. There's a few torches around, I know. I could probably get rid of these ones and be all right. We'll 
We'll check the block lighting level in a second. All right. So, 11. If I don't fall into the darn water. All right, so we're at 11, 11, 10. Yeah, I think we're fine with the block lighting in this room. Oh, I did miss some. Oops, I'm not going to have enough. Oh, we're going to have to make the rest of the stone bricks in the sum. So I think block lighting level, we're going to be fine. Um, ah, that one. All I need to do is just finish up. Oh, I do have some more. Never mind. You guys are probably all like, it's in your inventory. Just look. I hate when I hit Q accidentally and drop some. That's the worst. Give it. I want the torch. Thank you. No. Total failure. You guys are probably all laughing. He's retarded. He can't do that. Stop playing now while you're ahead. You can just hear it. No, I'm joking. I do all right. It's not as bad as it looks. Outline this door frame. As you can see, I got stuff in the ceiling to clear out still. I have quite a bit of work to do still in this room. And we'll just fill you back in with that for now. There we go. So I still have quite a few, uh, quite a bit of work to do, but at least it has, you know, some semblance of a purpose in this room now. Yeah, I really think I'm actually going to raise the ceiling up a bit and kind of like dome it a little towards, you know, kind of gradually make it into a dome. Uh, that's going to take a, a bit of work because doming a ceiling, I have to go up a level, up to, uh, you know. I may make it a, a slight dome where every I just go up every level, every two blocks or something. I'm not sure yet. Um, but that's what I'm going to do next time is... Well, I'm going to do that off camera and I'll show you guys how it looks. I don't want to bore you with that on camera. Uh, I did want to show you guys what this looks like though. And then this room here, I'm still debating how exactly I want to handle it. Hello, Mr. Slime. Thank you. I'm thinking in here, I'm going to make it into like my room with a... My bed and an enchanting table and stuff in here. I'm thinking. I'm not sure yet still. Or I could. I might make it into a couple separate rooms. I know I probably want to put my um, my treasure room off of this side or that side over there. This side leads to a ravine out this way. And I still need to finish exploring that some more. Um, so there's a lot that I haven't haven't decided entirely on. I'm kind of leaving that up in the air at the moment. Uh, this is a room I need to do next, so I need to figure out what I want to do with it. Um, because if I go out that way, i got to be careful when I branch off that way and that way. So that way I don't try to go that way and then come this way or go that way then go that way and go back. Unless I purposely want to run into different rooms and stuff, so... It's kind of up in the air, um, but this is just a little video showing you guys what's going on. I've carved out this room. I did this room, and I finally finished it and gave it a little bit of a look. On the water here, I'm thinking... I don't know if I like it this way or if I want to bring it in one level. So instead of having it this wide, maybe bring it in, I don't know. I kind of like it. I might actually try and uh, bring water in and make it so it comes up to the top. Or I'll bring this in so that it comes to the edge of the water and it just goes straight in or something. I don't know. I, or just if you like it this way, let me know. But I appreciate everybody that watches my videos. And my new subscribers, you guys are rock. 
thanks again for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. And for all my continuing subscribers that watch these, thank you so much. Um, you guys are awesome, all of you. And I really appreciate the time you take to watch my videos. And so if you like this, like. If you have a comment, comment. Um, but anyways, I think that's going to be it for today, you guys. And take care, everybody. I will talk to you later. Peace.